Sofian Amrabat sends Man United transfer hint with six-word message after summer decision. The latest Manchester United transfer news as the Reds decided against triggering an option in the midfielder's loan deal, but could yet negotiate another deal to bring him back to Old Trafford. Former Manchester United loanee Sofian Amrabat has taken to social media to send a message following his exit from Old Trafford. The midfielder joined United on loan from Serie A club Fiorentina last summer. The deal included an option to make the deal permanent at the end of the season for 20 million euros, 16.8 million pounds, rising to 25 million euros, 21.8 million pounds. But United have decided not to trigger that option with suggestions that they could try to renegotiate the price to sign the player. Amrabat is keen to make the move to Old Trafford permanent. In a bid to try and force through a move, he has been absent from at least part of preseason training with Fiorentina. That's not to say he's not working hard on his fitness as he prepares for the new season. Amrabat posted a video on social media this week showing him doing work in the gym, lifting weights and on the exercise bike. The video then ends with him running outside. Some of the work he is doing shows him in what appears to be United training shorts. They do, however, have the squad number 20 on them, the number worn by Diogo Dallo since the 2018-19 season. The 27-year-old played 30 times in all competitions for United last season, although a lot of those came from the bench, especially in the Premier League. If United make a move to re-sign the Moroccan, it could depend on their success in a chase for Paris Saint-Germain midfielder Manuel Ugarte. It is claimed that the Uruguay International has agreed personal terms with the club. If that is true, then United will now be working on finding an agreement with PSG. Ugarte plays in the same position as Amrabat. He could potentially be seen as a replacement for the midfielder following his return to his parent club. Sofian Amrabat had always dreamed of the bright lights of Manchester. Growing up in the bustling streets of Utrecht, he idolized the Premier League's powerhouses, none more so than Manchester United. His journey from a young boy kicking a ball around in the local park to a formidable midfielder on the European stage had been marked by determination and unwavering belief. After a breakthrough season that saw him shine in Serie A, speculation swirled around Amrabat's future. Clubs across Europe took notice of his commanding presence in midfield, but it was Manchester United that held a special place in his heart. The allure of Old Trafford, the history, and the opportunity to compete alongside some of the game's greats tugged at his ambitions. As summer approached, the decision loomed large. Amidst the whispers and negotiations, Amrabat remained focused on the pitch, letting his performances speak volumes. It was during this pivotal moment that he chose to send a message, succinct yet pregnant with meaning. Manchester United is my next chapter. Those six words reverberated through the footballing world, sparking excitement among fans and igniting discussions among pundits. For Amrabat, it was a declaration of intent, a promise to himself and to those who had supported him since day one. The journey from Utrecht to Manchester was not just about a change in scenery. It was about fulfilling a lifelong dream and embracing the challenge that lay ahead. As the summer transfer window opened, negotiations intensified. Clubs scrambled to secure his signature, but for Amrabat, the decision had already been made. United's rich history and their vision for the future resonated deeply with him. It was more than a footballing move. It was a step towards greatness, a chance to etch his name alongside the legends who had graced the theater of dreams. In the end, amidst the flurry of paperwork and media speculation, Sofian Amrabat donned the iconic red jersey of Manchester United. Stepping onto the pitch at Old Trafford for the first time, he felt a surge of emotion unlike any other. The journey from a young boy with a dream to a midfielder at one of the world's biggest clubs was complete. But for Sofian Amrabat, this was just the beginning. With each touch of the ball, each roar of the crowd, he knew he was living the dream he had once only dared to imagine. 
and as he looked towards the future, he knew that his six-word message had set the stage for a chapter filled with determination, ambition, and the unwavering pursuit of excellence. Amrabat's desire to secure a permanent transfer to Old Trafford had intensified to the point where he made a calculated decision to skip portions of Fiorentina's crucial preseason preparations. His absence, while noticeable, was shrouded in speculation and uncertainty, leaving both fans and management perplexed. Meanwhile, in other news, Man United hoped to maximize performance levels with hydration, food, and sleep plans. Manchester United are currently on their pre-season tour of the United States, and players will have to adhere to strict food and sleep plans during their time overseas. Manchester United have gone to great lengths to maximize the performance level of their players on the tour of the U.S., right down to personalized sleep and meal plans. United's chef and nutrition team have devised bespoke meals for each player, while members of Eric Ten Hag's squad have also been given a hydration plan to avoid any risk of dehydration in the searing Los Angeles heat. In addition, players have been issued with individually tailored compression garments to increase blood circulation, while training sessions have been specifically scheduled to allow players to be exposed to natural light at the best time of day to reduce the effects of jet lag. United's 29-man squad landed in LA at 5.30 p.m. local time on Wednesday, eight hours behind UK time, with every possible measure taken to give the players the best chance of adjusting to the time difference to deliver the best in training and matches. Hollywood royalty will be out in force to support Manchester United in their opening U.S. tour game against Arsenal in Los Angeles. Oscar winner and L.A. resident Gary Oldman, a United fan, will be in attendance at SoFi Stadium to watch his team begin their three-game U.S. tour. Oldman, currently starring in the hugely successful Apple TV series Slow Horses, was a VIP guest for a game at Old Trafford last season and was also at Wembley for United's FA Cup final win over local rivals Manchester City in May. Another Hollywood superstar and fellow United fan, Julia Roberts, who spent a day watching the tennis at Wimbledon earlier this month, could also make an appearance at the game, with her three children, who are all Red Devils fans. Pretty Woman star Roberts, who has also attended a game at Old Trafford, was at United's tour opener against Arsenal last season in New Jersey and met Ten Hag, who presented her with a shirt with her name on the back, as well as Marcus Rashford. The last time United were in Los Angeles, back in 2018 under Jose Mourinho, the squad stayed at the iconic Beverly Wilshire Hotel, ironically featured in Pretty Woman. This time, however, United have opted to stay at the five-star SLS Beverly Hills, a luxury collection hotel, where rooms start at 450 pounds a night. United are often greeted by hundreds of hysterical fans when they arrive at their hotel on summer tours, particularly in the Far East. But Eric Ten Hag and his players were treated to a low-key welcome to Los Angeles on Wednesday evening. Their Virgin Atlantic flight landed just before 5.30 p.m. local time at a private terminal at LAX, and the squad then got a police escort through the rush hour traffic, arriving at their hotel at 6.30 p.m. The only people outside the hotel were a group of reporters waiting to film United's arrival. United coach Steve McLaren has not traveled to the U.S., but has stayed in Manchester to work with those players who will return to training too late to join the tour. McLaren's role has changed from assistant manager to senior first-team coach following the arrival of new coaches Ruud van Nistelrooy and Rene Haak, who are now Ten Hag's right-hand men. Former England boss McLaren also underwent foot surgery recently, which has restricted his mobility, so the decision was taken for him to stay behind and work with those players who were involved in the latter stages of Euro 2024 and Copa America, including Bruno Fernandes, Diogo Dalot, Kabi Menu, Luke Shaw, Joshua Xerxi, Lisandro Martinez, Alejandro Garnacho, Facundo Palistri, and Altai Bayindir. All are on an extended break and will work with McLaren and other coaches at Carrington, although some may join up with the tour next week, depending on their individual situation. 
Manchester United's renewed focus on optimizing performance levels through meticulous hydration, nutrition, and sleep plans underscored their commitment to excellence both on and off the pitch. As the elite footballing world evolved, so did the demands on players to maintain peak physical and mental condition throughout the grueling season. Under the watchful eye of their sports science and medical teams, Manchester United implemented a holistic approach to player well-being. Hydration became a cornerstone, with tailored plans ensuring that players maintained optimal fluid levels before, during, and after training sessions and matches. Electrolyte balance and hydration status were closely monitored, with individualized strategies to combat fatigue and enhance recovery. Nutrition played an equally pivotal role. Personalized dietary plans, crafted in collaboration with nutritionists, catered to the specific needs and preferences of each player.